My name is Carol Chen. My last name is Lin. You can call me Tom. My family calls me Candy. All my friends call me Kitty. I don't have an English name. My English name was given by my teacher. My colleagues usually call me by my English name, James. I don't like my nickname. People often pronounce my name wrong. One of my friends has the same name as me. My name was given by my grandfather. My name was chosen by a fortune teller. My name means brave. My name is quite common. I'd really like to change my name. I like my name very much. What is your last name? What is your name? What should I call you? May I ask how to spell your name? Do you have an English name? Do you have a nickname? Can I call you Jimmy? Are you Mr. Lin? What does your family call you? Who gave you your name? Does your name have any special meaning? Do you like your name? Do you want to change your name? Is everyone able to pronounce your name? Do you know anyone with the same name as you? Your name sounds nice. Your name is very special. You have the same name as my friend. I am 25 years old this year. I am not yet 18 years old. I am almost 50 years old. I am 30 something years old. I just had my 40th birthday. I was born in the year of the goat. I was born the same year as you. I was born in 1980. All my colleagues are younger than me. There is a 10-year age difference between my younger sister and me. I am three years younger than my older brother. I have already passed the age for marrying. I am not young anymore. I look younger than my actual age. Age is a woman's secret. I hate it when people ask me my age. How old are you? Are you 20 years old yet? You'll be in your 30s soon, right? When is your birthday? What year were you born? What year were you born in? Which of the two of you is older? How much younger than you is your brother? How much older than you is your sister? Are you old enough to take the driver's license exam? We are about the same age. You always look so young. You are in really good shape. You and my older sister were born in the same year. We share the same birthday. Whose songs did you listen to while growing up? You look so young, like a university student. I am Taiwanese. I am a Kaohsiung native. I come from central Taiwan. I was born in eastern Taiwan. I love my hometown very much. I spent my childhood in my hometown. I left my hometown when I was 10.
I have been living away from my hometown ever since I was young. I don't have much of an impression of my hometown. I often go back to my hometown to visit my parents. My hometown is a prosperous city. My hometown is rich in rice. I will always be most attached to my hometown. My hometown is beautiful. Where is your hometown? Where are you from? Where were you born? Do you miss your hometown? Do you want to talk about your hometown? What is the signature product of your hometown? What is your hometown famous for? How old were you when you left your hometown? Would you like to visit your hometown? Has your hometown experienced any changes recently? Do you return to your hometown often? How long has it been since you last returned to your hometown? Do you have any relatives left in your hometown? Do you plan to return to and settle down in your hometown? I live in Taipei City. There are four people in my family. I grew up in a single parent family. I am the only son in my family. My family is close. I am the oldest child in my family. I live in an apartment. My family has three generations living together. I bought a house with a loan. I live with my parents. I share a room with my sister. I rent a house and live alone. Our family is a double income household. I moved here three years ago. Downstairs from my house is a 7 Eleven. My house is near the MRT station. Do you have any brothers or sisters? How many people are in your family? Do you get along well with your family? Where do you live? Do you live alone? Did you buy your house? Do you rent a house? Do you come from a single parent family? How big is the place you live in? Do you live in an apartment or a large building? Do you live with your family? Have you lived here since you were young? Do you like to live in the suburbs or the city? Have you ever moved house? Do you have your own room? Is your house near an MRT station? I am a lively and outgoing person. I am a shy and introverted person. I'm not a talkative person. I like to make friends. I have a strong sense of justice. I have the courage to take on a challenge. I like to help others. I am naturally optimistic. I have an easygoing personality. I have a good temper. I am afraid of loneliness. I am funny and like to joke around. I get nervous easily. I am a bit of a stubborn person. I am a rash person. Have you always been this optimistic? Do you get nervous easily? 
Have you always been such a silent person? Do you always speak this directly? Have you been this introverted since childhood? Do you like to make friends? Do you have good communication skills? Do you have the courage to express your opinions? Are you an impatient person? Do you think that you are stubborn? Do you like to try new things? Do you have an easygoing personality? Are you afraid of facing pressure? My hobby is listening to music. My interest is attending various exhibitions. I really like to travel abroad. Taking a walk is my daily habit. I usually go out during the holidays. I have the habit of reading before bed. I often go to the movies with my friends. I frequently go hiking with my family. I love talking on my cell phone. I like to chat with others. Lately, I've gotten into online gaming. Enjoying gourmet food is one of my hobbies. Fishing is my biggest hobby. What is your hobby? Do you go to the movies frequently? Do you read regularly? Do you travel abroad often? What kind of movies do you prefer? What kind of books do you read? Do you like to watch performances? Your hobby is very expensive. What kind of music do you like? Do you listen to music very often? I bet you own a lot of CDs. Do you like to watch TV? What kind of TV shows do you usually watch? Do you have the habit of chatting online? Eating wouldn't be your only hobby, would it? I am fluent in four languages. My English is quite good. I am good at dancing. There is no sport too difficult for me. I can run very fast. I am good at playing the piano. I have a lifeguard license. I am a computer expert. I swim freestyle. I am a good cook. Everyone says that I am a good singer. I am good at making various cakes and desserts. I can drive a car. I have a black belt in karate. I am good at painting. I can make my own clothes. Which is your best subject? What do you excel in? How many languages do you speak? Do you speak English? Are you good with computers? What musical instruments can you play? Do you know how to swim? When did you begin learning to play the piano? Can you cook? What is your best homemade dish? Are you a KTV master? Are you good at sports? Are you an expert dancer? Can you drive a car? Are you a good speaker? Are you a good negotiator? My colleagues think that I am a funny person. My friends like to talk about their problems with me.
My boss speaks highly of my energetic performance. My manager says that I am very careful with details. My parents think that I am too childish. My boss speaks highly of my earnest attitude toward work. My boyfriend thinks that I am too dependent. Older people praise my cleverness. Everyone says that I am a patient person. Some people say that I am a sheltered person. Some people think that I am too serious. My friends tell me not to be overly emotional. Everyone says that I am a muddle headed person. Everyone says that I have a good temper. Does anyone think that you are moody? How do your friends describe you? Do your friends feel that you are a fickle person? Does anyone say that you are stubborn? I bet you give your teachers a lot of trouble. Is your teacher satisfied with your performance at school? Is your manager pleased with your performance? Does your child think you are a nag? Does anyone say that you are too quiet? Does your boyfriend think you're considerate? Your parents must be very proud of you. You must be a good father. You must be an excellent wife and a loving mother. Do your friends usually complain to you about things? I am single. I really don't want to get married. I got married two years ago. I got engaged last month. I am getting married toward the end of this year. I've been married for ten years already. I have a happy marriage. I am a housewife. My husband and I were classmates in school. I got married because I was pregnant. I became pregnant less than six months after marriage. This is my second marriage. I've been divorced for quite a few years. I have a bad relationship with my mother in law. I regret getting married. Wouldn't you like to get married? Are you married? Have you considered a matchmaker? When will you get married? How did your husband propose to you? How many years have you been married? How's your life as a newlywed going? Do you regret getting married? How did you meet your wife? When will you get engaged? How many years until you have a child? How many children would you like to have? How are you getting along with your in laws? Why did you divorce? Would you like to get married again? I am 160 centimeters tall. I haven't measured my height in a long time. I am fine with my height. I am of average height. I inherited my father's height. I am just as tall as you. I am three centimeters shorter than my elder sister. I am five centimeters taller than my younger brother. I am a short person. I envy people who are taller than me. I am the tallest one in my family. I am only 145 centimeters tall. 
My height is over 190 centimeters. I suddenly grew taller after starting junior high. How tall are you? Do you think you were tall enough? Do you wish you were taller than you are now? Is everyone in your family as tall as you? Who is taller, you or him? You are as tall as my younger brother. What is the difference in height between you and your elder brother? You've grown taller again. You look taller than your father. You cannot understand the pain of being a short person. Your height makes people jealous. Your height is perfect for playing basketball. Your girlfriend is so petite. You could be a model with your height. My weight is 48 kilograms. My weight is not quite 60 kilos. I am a fat person. I am very slim. I envy those who eat a lot but don't get fat. I have an average figure. I am 10 kilos heavier than my elder brother. I am thinner than my younger sister. My chest measurement is 34 inches. My arms are fleshy. My thighs are too big. I exercise to maintain my figure. I think I am fat. I think that I am too skinny. I've gained some weight recently. What is your weight? How much is your ideal weight? Did you get fat again? How do you keep your shape? How did you become just skin and bones? Why do you want to lose weight? How many kilograms did you gain? You probably don't even weigh 40 kilograms. Do you know her measurements? I think that he weighs at least 90 kilograms. You look like you have no fat on your body. I am jealous of your good figure. What a great figure you have! Your figure hasn't changed a bit in the past 10 years. I've become fair-skinned. I have fair skin. My skin tans easily. I've got a tan. My skin is very good. My face looks pale. My skin does not take to makeup easily. I have oily skin. My skin is very smooth. I have a combination of skin types. My skin is easily irritated. I have bags under my eyes. My skin shines. I break out in pimples very easily. My skin darkens if I stay up late at night. My skin frequently peels in winter. How come you don't tan? Do you want your skin to be whiter? Do you want to have a bronze-colored skin tone? Do you have sensitive skin? Aren't you afraid of getting too tan? How come you have so many pimples? Your skin looks very healthy with a touch of rose. Your skin is very good. 
Your skin is getting better and better. Your skin is whiter. You don't have any wrinkles. You've gotten a suntan. Your face looks very pale. You should take good care of your skin. Your acne is getting better. I have a round face. My face is big. My face is smaller than my palm. My face is shaped like my father's. I have a baby face. I have a good-looking face. I am an ordinary-looking person. I have a high forehead. My cheeks are chubby. I have a double chin. I have a sharp chin. I am determined to be a beauty with a cute face. Everyone says that my round face looks friendly. I always have a smiling face. I look very mean. I usually am expressionless. I have distinct cheekbones. Why don't you like to smile? You have a beautiful facial structure. Your face is so small. The shape of your face is somewhat square. Your face looks rounder than before. Your round face looks very cute. You have a baby face. You look so sweet. Your face is bigger than your mother's. Your face is shaped totally differently from your family members. Having a baby face makes you look younger. Your smile is very charming. You have high cheekbones. You look so serious. What happened? I have a distinct face. My eyes look like my mother's. My eyelids are swollen. My eyes are small. Everyone says that my eyes are big. My eyes are long and thin. My eyelids are single-folded. My eyelashes are very long. I have a high-bridged nose. My eyes are black. My eyebrows are thick. I am nearsighted. I trim my eyebrows frequently. My lips are thick. My mouth is large. Your eyes are bright and piercing. Your eyes are very beautiful. What big, bright eyes you have! Your eyes look typically thin and narrow. Do you have double-folded eyelids? Your eyelids look swollen. Your blue eyes are very beautiful. You have sharp eyes. Do you want to have LASIK surgery to cure your nearsightedness? Do you have a problem with nearsightedness? Your dimples are very cute. The color of your eyebrows is very dark. Your eyebrow shape is very beautiful. You have sexy lips. You have quite a sharp nose. Your nose looks like your father's. You have a small mouth. I have long hair. I have bangs. My hair is parted to one side. I have waist-length hair. 
My hair is naturally curly. My hair is parted in the middle. I had my hair straightened. I had my hair dyed. I have good hair quality. I dyed my hair red. I wash my hair every day. I go to the beauty shop once a week. My hair is coarse and thick. I usually wear my hair in a ponytail. I change my hairstyle frequently. I like my new hairdo very much. Do you like straight or curly hair? Do you dye your hair? Do you like long or short hair? How much time do you spend doing your hair? Do you condition your hair? Do you wash your hair every day? Why not be bold and try dyeing your hair blonde? When did you cut your hair? Which way do you part your hair? What beautiful hair you have! Would you like to change your hairdo? Your new hairstyle suits you. I think short hair suits you better. Do you plan to grow your hair long? Your hairstyle hasn't changed in decades. I don't know how to put on makeup. I apply makeup when my complexion looks bad. I'd like to learn how to put on makeup. I started to use makeup when I was a college student. I apply mascara regularly. Everyone says that I become another person when I put on makeup. I never wear any jewelry. I only wear my wedding ring. I always wear this necklace, which means a lot to me. I like to wear earrings. I wear glasses. Our company requires its employees to wear makeup to work. I don't like to wear glasses. Do you wear makeup every day? How did you learn to put on cosmetics? Your earrings are very beautiful. How old were you when you began to apply cosmetics? The makeup you put on looks very fashionable. Wearing lipstick makes you more energetic. Your makeup looks very natural. Sometimes applying makeup is a matter of good manners. This color of eyeshadow really fits you. More and more young ladies are beginning to put on cosmetics. Can you teach me how to put on makeup? Do you wear contact lenses? An appropriate amount of makeup can really add to your looks. I dress for the occasion. I wear a suit to work. I dress casually on weekends. Our company allows us to dress casually for work. I wear a uniform at work. I wear semi-formal clothes when I attend a banquet. I like simple and tasteful clothing. I love t-shirts and jeans the most. Long skirts are my favorite. I have every style of jeans. I like loose-fitting clothes. I usually struggle to decide what to wear. My monthly clothing budget is about 5,000 NT dollars. I like to wear high heels. Do you like to wear skirts or pants? 
Which style of clothing do you like? Do you pay attention to the current season's fashion news? Do you wear a uniform to work? The clothes you are wearing today really suit you. Are these new clothes? Would you like to try high heels? You really know how to put together an outfit. Your shoes are beautiful. You really are born to wear anything. You look terrific in that suit. Women's wardrobes are always short one item. Your clothing budget must be considerable. Your shoes really match your clothes. I am still in school. I am part of the 9 to 5 workforce. My friends and I manage a shop. I've started my own business and am my own boss. My job has nothing to do with what I learned in school. I work at home. I work at a TV station. I work in the service industry. I am a public servant. Our firm is located in downtown Taipei. I have tried my hand at various professions. My job is currently the most fashionable profession. I currently hold more than one job. What do you do for a living? Do you run your own business? Do you jointly run a company with your friend? Which company do you work for? What's your company's main business? How many employees are in your firm? Where is your firm located? Your company is very well known. Which department do you belong to? What is your job title? A lot of people would do anything to work for your company. Do you still hold any part-time jobs? Does your current job relate to what you learned in school? Your job is currently the most popular one on the market. How did you find this job? Does your company plan to recruit new employees? The nature of my job is unchanging. My work is very complicated. I have to go on business trips regularly. I manage quality control. My job is assisting my manager. At work, I have to stare at a computer for long periods of time. I have to introduce our clients to our new products. I am in charge of dealing with all the problems that are brought up by our clients. I started out at the bottom of the company. Answering telephones is part of my job. I am often in meetings for the whole day. I am in charge of planning and marketing. What are your job responsibilities? Is your job interesting? Is your job challenging? Does your job require the use of English? Do you work with a team? Do you work independently? Do you use Skype to contact your clients? Are you responsible for every issue, large and small, in your company? Do you have an assistant? Do you have phone calls that never stop coming? Did you start out at the bottom of your company? 
Do you need to take frequent business trips? Do you need to visit clients frequently? Do you have meetings that never seem to end? Does your work never change? I arrive to work at 9 a.m. and leave at 6 p.m. I work eight hours a day. Our company's lunch break is one hour long. The company's lunch break is from 12 noon to 1 p.m. My work schedule is not fixed. Our company adopts a shift work system. It's been several months since my last vacation. Our company has a two day weekend. I have never arrived late or left early. I get a seven day annual leave. I often have to work overtime, even on holidays. I often work late into the night. I have been working with this company for five years. What is your work schedule? When does your office take a lunch break? Do you usually work late into the night? How long is your company's lunch time? What time do you arrive at the office? Do you need to work overtime tonight? How many hours a day do you work? Do you have to work on holidays a lot? How long have you been working? Do you have to work different shifts? How long have you been working in your current company? Do you often ask for leave? Are you often late for work? Do you work the day shift or the night shift? Do you have two day weekends? Does your company require you to punch in and out? I love my job. I am a workaholic. Work puts me under a lot of pressure. I am more than good enough to do this job. I am proud of my work. I think my work is full of challenges. My job enables me to show my abilities. I derive a great sense of achievement from my job. I don't think I am suitable for this job. I always have too much work to finish. I have learned a lot from my work. I have been trying to improve my work efficiency. I have lost my enthusiasm for work. Work has helped me meet many friends. Do you like your job? Does your job allow you to use what you have learned? Do you think this job is suitable for you? Does your job allow you to display your talent? What have you learned from your job? Are you proud of your job? Have you ever tried to change your work methods? What was the most discouraging thing you ever experienced while working? What kind of working person do you want to be? Do you feel like you are constantly improving? Are you very enthusiastic about your work? Are you a workaholic? Do you come in contact with people from other fields when working? I find pleasure in my work every day. I devote myself to work. I will finish my work in time. I never arrive late for work or leave early. 
I don't engage in my personal affairs while working. I will do my best to finish the tasks that are assigned to me by my company. I always strive to satisfy my customers' needs. I work very carefully in order to avoid making mistakes. I don't ask for time off without a good reason. I hope to learn and grow from my work. I never put off till tomorrow what should be done today. I don't let my personal emotions influence my work. Do you find pleasure in your work? Do you take your job seriously? What do you hope to learn from your job? Do you often ask for leave? Do you often arrive late to work and leave early? Can you remain calm in a crisis? How do you deal with bad times at work? Do you work hard to gain professional knowledge? Do you actively request raises? How do you handle colleagues who try to discredit you? Do you actively participate during meetings? Are you brave enough to ask questions? Are you good at dealing with crises? Do you strive to develop new products? Do you have an innovative spirit? I lost my job. I got a raise. Our company cut down on personnel. My salary has been cut. I have been promoted. I have been demoted. I switched jobs. I will be assigned abroad. I will be transferred to headquarters. I have been assigned to another department. I've just made it through the trial period. I will have two additional assistants. There is a new employee in my department. I have a new manager. I will retire next year. I got laid off. Why did you leave your job? Do you want to change jobs? What is your new job? I heard that you got promoted. Are you satisfied with your new title? Have you made it through the trial period? Have you been approached by other companies? Are you willing to develop in China? When did you hand in your resignation? When will you retire? Why did you get fired? Did your company give raises this year? Have you gotten used to your new manager? Is your company facing any financial difficulties? When will your new colleague begin work? I want to work the same hours every day. I want to work in the fashion industry. I want a job that I am interested in. To get into show business has always been a dream of mine. I want to be a public servant. I hope to start my own business. I wish my job was related to what I learned in school. I want to open a shop. I want to be free and work from home. What kind of career do you hope to have? Can you accept a job that is always the same? Have you ever dreamt of being a superstar? Do you wish your work was related to what you studied in school? 
Do you hope to own a small shop? Do you hope to start your own business? Do you want to work from home? Can you accept a job with shifts? Can you accept a 24 hour job? Do you wish your work was full of challenges? What meaning does your job hold for you? I have always hoped to work in a foreign trading company. I want to work abroad. I wish I worked in a big city. I hope to work in politics. I hope to have a job related to the mass media. I want to work in the 3C industry. I want to work in the service industry. I want a job that requires contact with people. I just want to be a housewife. I wish my firm had employee trips. I plan to change my job. Do you hope to work overseas? Do you want to work in mass media? Do you want to work in politics? Do you wish you could work for a foreign company? Do you have any interest in the 3C industry? Are you interested in the service industry? Have you ever thought about not working? Do you have to inherit your family business? Do you like jobs that require working with people? Do you wish your company had employee trips? Do you take time to reinvigorate yourself? You should try to reduce your working hours. I wish my company had more benefits. I wish I could work in a large company with more than 100 employees. I wish I had less work and more income. I wish I could work in a small company with less than 20 employees. I wish my company would focus on employee training. I wish my firm was conveniently located. I wish my firm was close to my home. I wish my firm had a complete system for promotion. I wish I could leave work on time. I wish I had 10 days leave every year. I hope to get a substantial year end bonus. I wish my colleagues were easier to get along with. How much do you hope your salary will be? How often do you hope to get a raise? How much of an annual bonus do you hope to receive? What time would you like to start work? Do you wish there was an MRT station around your office? Do you wish your firm offered bonuses and stock options? Do you hope to work in a big company or a small one? Do you wish you didn't have to punch in and out of work? How many days off do you wish you had per month? Do you wish you could leave work on time every day? Do you wish your company had a more complete system for promotion? I wish I could become more beautiful. I wish I could be the focus of everyone's attention. I wish I had flawless skin. I wish I could look younger. I wish I had fewer freckles. I wish I had bigger eyes. I envy people with fair skin. I am jealous of people with small faces.
I wish I had double fold eyelids. I want to have long raised eyelashes. I wish I had a pronounced nose. I want to have thick, sexy lips. I am trying to reduce my facial wrinkles. I wish I didn't have bags under my eyes. I wish I looked more self confident. Are you satisfied with your appearance? Do you want to reduce your wrinkles? What is the facial feature that you are most dissatisfied with? Are you envious of people who have smaller faces than you? Do you wish you had whiter skin? Do you plan to get a bronze tan? Do you wish you looked full of confidence? Do you plan to have plastic surgery? Do you want to look mature and dignified? Do you plan to have your blemishes removed by laser? Do you wish you looked younger? Do you wish you looked younger than people the same age as you? I hope that I can maintain my figure forever. I wish I had a more attractive body. I hope that I can maintain my current weight. I want to lose some weight. I want to lose five kilos. I want to gain three kilos. I wish I were taller. I hope that I won't get any taller. I wish that I didn't have any excess weight. I wish that I had a pair of beautiful legs. I wish I had a larger bust. I wish that I could get rid of my gut. I wish my legs were slim and slender. I wish I had sturdy arms. I want to have a small waist. I wish I had a small and shapely butt. How many kilograms do you wish you were? Do you wish you were a bit thinner? Do you think your weight is average? How tall do you wish you were? Are you satisfied with your figure? Do you wish you could eat as much as you wanted and never gain weight? Do you envy the good figure of models? Who do you think has the most ideal body? Do you wish you were a bit stronger? Which part of your figure are you most dissatisfied with? Are you trying to get rid of excess fat? Do you wish you could wear size small clothes? I have many plans for my future. I don't have any plans for my future. I intend to study abroad. I just want to take life one step at a time. I hope to develop a career for myself. I plan to have my own business in five years. I hope that I can get married before I turn 27. I want to open a store after I turn 30. I want to be a dink. Double income, no kids. I plan to retire at age 60. I hope to have a child before I turn 30. I intend to have two children. I absolutely must travel around the world at some point in my life. I hope to get married after I have some economic stability. What kind of person do you hope to become? 
What kind of person do you hope to be in ten years? When do you plan to get married? Have you ever considered your future? Do you plan to have a child? Do you have plans to study abroad? Do you plan to be single for the rest of your life? When do you plan to retire? How many children do you plan to have? What kind of career would you like to have? What do you want to do after you retire? Do you intend to start your own business? What kind of life partner do you hope to find? Do you plan to immigrate to another country? Are you prepared for the certification tests? I keep track of my expenses every day. I save one third of my salary every month. I invest in stocks. I plan to buy a house when I am thirty. I save five thousand every month. I hope to have earned my first million by the time I'm twenty-five. I do futures trading. I hope to pay off my car loan within ten years. I've joined a credit cooperative. I don't spend money carelessly. I deposit my money in a savings account. I bought insurance for myself. I don't know how to manage my money at all. I have to save for my child's education. I spend money without thinking. I took out a loan to start my own business. How do you manage your money? How much do you save per month? How do you make use of your salary? Do you save money regularly? Do you invest in real estate? Do you keep track of your finances every day? Do you have a loan? Do you know exactly how you spend your money? Do you read magazines about financial management? What do you invest in? Do you blow your salary every month? Are you part of a credit cooperative? Do you have any spending plans for your money? How much cash do you hope to have when you retire? What would you do if you didn't have any money? Do you know any good ways of making money?